Okay, Bino Black, folks, and basically very much what we're all interested in, and this is today's shot. Sechi, take you over real fast. There you go. Okay. And also, uh, we're interested in about finding out about Venus again. Now, as we roll back up through this shot, you're going to see what we're very much interested in is star clusters, asteroid belts. Basically, our Milky Way galaxy, e even though it's always looked humongous to us, in modern day technology now, even though it's very many millions of miles and so forth, and maybe even billions, not worried about the data on that right now, is when we're looking at SOHO, we get such a huge look out over space, folks. And there you go. We are in on Earth. And we'll zoom back in. And there's our very brightness because we know Jupiter to be the biggest and baddest that we know. Now, we pretty much, when we pop back in on this shot, we're going to know that Venus is off to the right. Because we can see the magnetic line. Okay? Either that or Earth's actually putting off a star resonation as like four, but really basically that should be Jupiter back up over there. Now we do know from these shots that right now we do not see Lovejoy in, the, in these anymore, okay? Lovejoy is gone. There's also a comet that hit on the first, hopefully I'll have time to put it in this video or the next video. And a lot of these are just hit and go, folks, because I'm just basically looking at some research and I'm going to go to photos and I'll even have show some stuff on radiation that I'm looking at with uh, cloud in our atmosphere. And pay attention to the number one thing on Phobos uh, let's go to a shot on now of Fireball on here. And yes, I put a lot of stuff in together, but a modern day Americans and everybody has got a very much more fast pace and they can keep up with me, okay? Anybody that, that may, I don't have time for people's remarks, okay? Basically, we go into the data on the shots of Fireball and on Tullahoma, you get that down there. We know that this is the moon and possibly Venus. I'll have to look at a sky chart for today. And when we go to live view, we are going to get what will be the moon, I believe, left up in the sky. But also it could be, and I'm not too much worried about right now. Now this is a comet that came by. Let's see if we can get a shot of that real fast. And I'm looking at my data real fast. Here's the sun, folks. The latest magnetic, and I can just pop through here and scroll around and let you see it. And then we're going to go to a shot where the basically NASA, we are basically got NASA by the yin-yangs, and they're giving us everything because everybody's bitching and moaning and going, what the hell are you not showing us? And there's tons of stuff they're not showing us. But that was a video there. Let's go to two, what I can give you on. And folks, I just put this stuff out when I'm cruising around checking my data and so forth. So we're going to see what they're, see, they're spooging out and telling us about changing spots on the sun, okay? So that's what I pretty much just showed you. And... Uh, I'll pump this up so you can see what they're saying on there's just a little notation there and then if you want to you can go to this website and check out what the hell they're talking about okay and basically it's just what we've been watching on the sun like crazy okay closer they're taking a closer look and they don't like that that's me bumping into it but whatever I know what's going on supervisor control and data acquisition you can't mess with me SDO took a closer look at barely emerging sunspot group they're not barely folks okay we showed you earlier in the last dozen videos or so of mine of showing you looking at sol solar artists basically I'll find my link on that because someone stole my link to solar artists and I don't really care because I look at it all different other places but we'll find my solar artist link anybody wants to be friendly out there in Dutch land they can go ahead and yes Deutsche Norge Scottish, Irish, Norwegian, Scandia, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Scandia Labs. Hey, send me a link for Solar Artist, folks, because PsyOps is screwing around with my links, okay? And my email. Okay, so you've got these solar spots, and we know what's going on with what we see. I'm going to take you to this right here, and we'll go to the video real fast. I think we had it loaded up here. We'll hit play. And you're going to see an asteroid come along, and there you've seen it in the box. Okay, so I hit play again real fast. So I don't have to work, really reload. And you got it in the box here. I hit pause, and we'll get it. And there, there, there it was in the box. Okay, not really we're too worried about you getting the asteroid. I think it was a good distance out. But we know that we're getting this up by the moon. And we know that Venus has been around by the moon a while ago. I'll have to look at a sun chart. But we're basically interested in this right down here, which we know has been coming up. In the northeast, yes, but all the sun, even the sun, comes up below our hole and we roll rotate east every day now let me look at the earthquakes real quick because I've got stuff on them so we know that from solar artists we're going to go to live view on Asgard okay on this and basically you'll see that we have this on our solar map here real fast to go down and we can pretty much more than likely trust that that's El Terre that we see on the shots and I'll go now we do know pay attention to the times down here folks when I'm looking because I don't have time to read numbers off all the time and this was today and basically here and also you got to remember that they have these pointers for a reason they are pointing at 
that, whatever ends up they keep watching there, and also whatever they keep watching on this one, which is TELUS, and they're looking at something there. Okay? And also, we've had this over here. They're watching the asteroid belt that we see all the time. Okay? Tons of stuff to be watching in space, ladies and gentlemen. And being politically correct on this picture here, ladies and gentlemen, think Geiger counter, okay? And forget this word up here, but basically, remember, if you look up history, uh, Ford owns Mazda, or did, and Chevy owns Toyota. And think Fuka Fudge Up, and think Geiger counter, okay? Where do you want to sit a majority of your time when you're in a vehicle? Do you want to go tick, 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 tick all the time, or do you want to be American and be proud? And put people in a work in America and buy it. And yes, be careful what you buy in America that has tick, 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 tick in it from Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Politically correct, no, incorrect, and truthful on RADS and CPM. You know black, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Quit and stay out of my flipping email, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so if anybody doesn't like remarks like this, well, too flipping bad because what's going on is my... U.S. American civil rights are being violated every day. So I'm a smiling mofo because I'm a prick. Okay? So I don't care. Okay? Because I will bite you. Okay? So leave me the flip alone and get PSYOPs, Black Box, Kerasoft, whatever the hell, out on my email or private detectives. Because it's pissing me off and then I'm just going to react like this. Okay? Science, data, fact sharing. Okay? And political interests. Freedom, constitutional rights, 24-7, do not tread on me. Okay, so when we're looking at these objects out in space, ladies and gentlemen, what we know that we've got really interesting what's biased by Earth here on this shot here, and we'll go back to 100% real fast, is we know that we got this. Okay, so it's either these clusters here, where we know this should be the closest thing that we got, so we know it's that cluster there. And also, NASA and everybody else is looking at it too, because we're going to take you to this item here in a second. I could blow in it more on this. We'll see what we got time for. Let's go to Beacon real fast. So we know today that when, for a while that ahead is always going to be showing us Mercury we should see and Venus we should see. We know that we don't have Jupiter in view, but we know that I pretty much picked out where uh, Jupiter should be. Okay, Jupiter should be up here. That's the magnetic line coming out and resonating towards Earth. Okay, and these are just like stuff that gets caught in your hair, ladies and gentlemen. Electrical magnification, and then we hang in space. Okay, we cling. If our electrical magnetism screws, we could end up low or high on our piece of hair that we strand in or that we go through space. So let me take you to a video I can show you real fast. So this will show you how big this, the sun flares. We'll also have a movie in a second. As soon as we get down, as you see here on the player, as soon as I'm starting to record on full screen, that they love us. Yes, we'll screw you. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go to a different screen. So basically, we have all these strands of hair out there, and we have Lovejoy leaving. Okay, and basically, right now, th this shoots backwards. Okay, because basically, they didn't want to scare everybody and know that the comet was coming towards Earth. Now, this is playing backwards, folks. Okay, so then when you see that tail coming like that, now we do know that it changed around 
when it came up by Jupiter, okay, when we were able to get a shot, uh, it was either Jupiter or Venus that it came by and it changed magnetification, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So the solar physicists and NASA are pissed because an electrician's out there telling you that reversal on a motor and so forth. And yes, the Hertz controlling that. And yes, communications that they're pissed off about through the government and the spook works. And they know that I know communications, all kinds, very secretive communications, ladies and gentlemen, that other countries don't even know. Well, it's all good with me. And it's all very secure. And everybody knows my father's jacket and so forth and so on. So the idea that everything's cool. But there's a lot of people out there power and control that are pissed off. But they're going to have a tough fight because basically they're going to be eating poop. Okay? So basically we have Lovejoy going away here to the right. And then you see all these hairs are basically magnetic lines of planets that you're going to see. And basically you're going to see Lovejoy coming back to the sun. This is in reverse mode. Okay? We have Lovejoy. See, they don't like telling the truth. Lovejoy left. The sun's in the, in the well over here. So as we move through this video, it's going to be coming back, okay? So Jupiter is basically more than likely right there, the thick line, and all these other planets that we know of, okay? But then you see what our idea that we're looking at by Earth there, that they even have sped up the, the playing on these videos a lot. They didn't load them this fast. They load them pretty fast, but they didn't load it this fast. So I've got by the full screen glitch that they've been putting on us. But you see, we're interested in this cluster right there, folks. And we're seeing it on what I've just showed you early on Asgard and so forth. And it's not worried, it's just interested because it's there in space, a long ways away from us. But Earth-wise, we're one of these strands here. I'm not sure what picking out Earth it would be one of the thinnest strands because more than likely, uh, Jupiter there is there to the right. It's a very thick strand. Let me pause this video, and you can see what I'm talking about on thickness of strands. The idea that you see how thick Jupiter is because Jupiter is the biggest object we've got out there. Okay. Now we know that more than likely Mars hangs out over here, so it's smaller, and more than likely Venus is one of these. So that could be Venus there, and it could be uh, Mars somewhere on this line here, in there by the shots, because even when I go to the, the latest shots, you're going to see. So when we're looking in space out there, everything hangs on its magnetic string, okay? So we've got some very interesting planets, because we know that more than likely this is Jupiter, because it's the biggest damn thing we see, okay? But lately also, as I can keep that froze, so you see the video that was with uh, basically going around uh, on going through space and we have this interesting cluster that we're seeing up there okay and then also we have uh, the super giants that they don't like the idea because I can very easily explain to you see how much before and we'll go to the photos real fast we'll plop through I've got for recent photos and, you know, and everybody pretty much all realizes that hey he's Telling us the truth? Yep, sure I am telling you the truth. Okay, there's Mars, and we know that we found a planet that got zapped by Mars not too long ago, okay? So I got this pumped up to 400%. Let me see if I can freeze it and go into 1,000 on that cluster that we were wondering about. Folks, so there's a lot of politics and a lot of stuff concerned about Phobos, okay? So the idea that don't they trust us for following a satellite or possibly an asteroid or a comet, but the idea that we do know and have found a lot of bunk about Phobos, okay? There's a bunch of... Uh, What's under a shell game? What do they call it? Three card money or three shell money? What's under what little uh, walnut little shell? Okay, it's a little shell game going on because someone's bought some satellites or something. Okay, something's going on because Phobos rockets are still up in orbit. Okay, and 91 miles is pretty high, so what is falling? Okay, so always watch on full screen. And this was the most current. Now let's go to my photos. So here's our interesting object blown up at a thousand percent to the right. So it looks a little bit different on this shot, okay? We know that more than likely Jupiter's back here in the white out of view, okay? I just had a glance at Dutch's video, but that basically I was going to start with this, but all the quakes are on the bottom, and we know that all the supergiants in the sun come up, and we rotate to the east, okay? And we know that we have axis tilt that I've showed you on my other ones. I don't think I'm going to have time for a solar map on this one. I'll show you the constellations and so forth on the other one. But this is within a week, folks or a little bit less than a week, all these quakes here, and basically I can eat it down here, there's all this shitload of quakes, okay? Okay? Mass of 7.5, ladies and gentlemen, there was a 7.5, you point the 7 point whatever, 3 or 1, or whatever the hell they showed over there, okay? That massive one was 7.5 first, okay? So with all the, we're seeing these on the bottom, and this one was today, this other green one, 5.1, we're getting lower quakes, I'll hit refresh, save some tape, and there you go, 2.8 up in Alaska, the latest, up on top, so and then I'll just basically throw everything back up on the board again real fast and flip us back over so that the idea that you see that 
all the earthquake action, folks, and it's not slowing down. And we got those big objects coming by, and I got them screwing up. Shocking photos next video.